Hey makers, this is Thruveen and I welcome you all to Power BI Paginated Report Step by Step series. You are watching fourth part of this series and in this session I am going to talk about how you can prepare your first Power BI Paginated Report with header, footer and tabular body section. We will be talking about each individual thing in detail throughout this entire session. So stay tuned with me but before that here is an intro. So here I am on my machine and here you can see that the paginated report I have opened that we have prepared during the earlier session. We have connected our data source and data source successfully. Now it's time to develop our report. So the very first step to prepare the paginated report is to prepare the template for the page. Now what do we mean by template? So here you can see that there is a canvas on our paginated report. Here we have one top header section, one footer section and in between we have this body section. Now let's add header to our report. Now header is something like when you apply a print on your paginated report then on each page that specific portion will be repeated every time. If we wanted to have that functionality we need to add header on our paginated report. Similar way footer section is also something which is visible to every page of your report. Now let's add header into our paginated report. For that go to the insert menu and click on header and click on add header. So that has added one header section over here. Now paginated report is something which is useful to create pixel perfect report. Now here also Observe one thing, whenever you select any portion, at that time that specific portion's name will be appear into this property pane. Let's say I have selected this header. So it is showing page header over here in the properties. Now let's say I am selecting this section. So it is showing page footer over here in the properties. Similar way I am selecting the body part. So it has changed to body over here. And let's say I am selecting title. So then it is showing this as a report title over here. Now let's say for an example I wanted to prepare the sales report. So what I will do is I will just move this report title to this header section. So what I did here is I just click on this four corner icon and just move that to my header section over here. So let's just move that and here let's provide the title for your report. So I am just providing the header of my report as sales report. Now let's select that report header and now let's set its position from the property panel. So just expand that and here you can see that location property. So from left and top it is set as 0. Now the dimension of the measurement is centimeter. Now, I have opened this particular paginated report from Indian VM. So it is showing me centimeters. If you have the US VM, it will show you the inches format. So based on your convenient, you can choose appropriate format. Now in the size, we can see here at this moment in millimeter, it is showing as 139.7 and 12.7. But I just wanted to reduce this width. So I am just decreasing it to 8 centimeter meaning 80 millimeter. So let's select that and set it there. Right now, after this thing, what I wanted to do here is I wanted to add one image as well over here. So I will go to the insert menu and click on image. Now, once you do that, it will show image icon on the cursor. And now let's provide this section as an image. So let's add that and it will open up this pop-up. Now from here we need to import the image. So select import and now let me just upload one of the image over here. So I am uploading this image over here and click on OK. So it uploaded this power platform image for me. Now what I wanted to achieve here is when the user enters salesperson ID based on that 
my report should be visible to the end user. So for that, I wanted to provide one text box for the user input. For that, what I will do is, I will go to the insert menu and just select text box. Now, let's add our text box over here. And now, let me just provide the parameter. Salesperson ID. Then, press space. And now, I wanted to accept parameter from here. So, right click on that and click on create placeholder. It will open up this pop-up for me. Now, over here, what we need to do here is just go to the value section and click on function. Over here from category, select the parameters and select salesperson ID. Double click on that. So that will add this parameter for me over here and just click on OK. And just hit OK. And you can see that it is expecting salesperson ID from here from the end user to view the report. Now I wanted to show the employee name as well who sell the product. So go to the insert and add one more text box. And now type employee. Right click and create placeholder. Just click on expression. And now Let's provide the value over here. So here I am providing the value as first name and last name. So click on data set. Now from here we need to provide employee first name. Then end person. Double inverted comma space. End person. And concatenate the last name. Right and click on OK. Just click OK. The expression has been added successfully. Now let's make this font as bold. Right? And after that let's do few minor things. Just select this particular text boxes and change the property if you wanted to have. So here I am not changing any position and size but based on your requirement and convenient you can choose it from the property pen. I personally prefer to set the positions using this property pen because it is more pixel perfect over here. So let's say for an example over here from the left side I just wanted to have as 0 mm so I just select 0 so it will become more accurate and similar way over here as well it should be 0 mm right so this has been set successfully. So our header is prepared perfectly. Now let's run this and taste that. So I'm clicking on run. And now it is asking me to enter the database credential first. So let me just enter my database credential over here. So you can see that this header section is showing me over here like this. By default the parameter we have passed over there was 24. Because uh, in my earlier session we have set the data source and data set. At that time we have set the default value as 24. So it is showing me the data for 24th record. Right. Now let's do one more thing. Let's set our footer. So on footer by default it is showing the execution time. Now I wanted to have some more property over here. Like I wanted to show how many page are there in the report and on which page we are at this moment. So for that double click on that so that will open the placeholder property for you and now click on expression. Now at this moment it is showing you the execution time but click on this built in field and here you are able to see so many other options as well. So now let's provide those options over here. With this, I wanted to show one more important thing in the footer. I wanted to show on which page we are and how many total pages we do have in our report. So for that, I am going to do here is press end person meaning concatenate 
and now let's add a keyword pages page which page number we are at this moment so we will select the overall page number and then press end person double inverted comma space of space and then total pages so end person and let's provide total pages overall total pages so it created this formula click ok and click ok now let's just increase the size for this particular box and let's set it over here from here let's set the alignment property so text align to left right and now let's see the outcome so let's run this report and let's see what we are getting here so here you can see the footer it is showing the execution time as well as total pages and the current position of the page right so we have prepared our header and footer section over here now it's time to prepare our table over here now let's add the table visualization on our power bi report page and load all the data over here for that click on the body section over here on the report go to the insert and click on table now click on insert table so it will show you the table icon on your cursor so just add table visualization on your page so it has added this type of table for you now let's add some more columns as well so i am just adding some column on the right side like this and now let's drag different properties over here so select this row and over here you will be finding this type of icon so go here and select this icon first of all we wanted to show sales id then we wanted to show the customer name so i am showing customer name then i wanted to show the product name so let's select name from here then i wanted to show quantity and price so i'll select quantity and i'll select price right now if you wanted to change the name of the header you can change from here right if you wanted to increase or decrease the width of your cell then simply select this one and you can just drag and drop and change the width for your column so for customer and product we need some more room and for quantity and price it is sufficient let me rename this as a customer name right similar way let's apply some formatting as well let's say for an example i wanted to have this column to be formatted on the right hand side so I, what i will do is i will click here anywhere then i will select this column press control and select the second column and then go to the alignment property and text alignment let's say right over here let's do one more thing let's make our first header as bold so i'm selecting bold from here and now let me just select the background color so i'm going to fill color and now let's select blue color from here and let's provide our font as white so i'm just going to font color property and from here let's select white as color over here right so it has been set successfully now let's say for an example i wanted to show the sum for quantity and prices as well for that what i need to do here is i need to add one more total column so let's select this column right click on that and then click on add total so once you click on add total it will add this row for here similar way select the price and add total right so it is showing like this now let's save the report and let's perform the testing so i'm just running this report and here you can see that the report is looking like this it has two pages on the first page it has showing this many of record 
and on second page it is showing another records so this is the second page and this is the first page now what I wanted to achieve here is I just wanted to have this header section to be repeated on every page as well as this table header also should be visible on every page so how can I do that for that go to the design page and now click on this column groups and click on advanced mode now here you can see that different section of your table so this is representing the first header and now what you need to do here is click here and here you have a property repeat on new page it is set false by default so let's apply true so what happening is on every page it will show you the table header right now let's save this and now let's run that and check again so if you check that this is the first page and table header is showing here going to the next page over here as well it is showing the table header now let's go to the design mode and now let's change the color for this last total row so I am selecting this last row and then I will change the color background color as green like this right and now let's run the report and the report looks really cool right so this is how the paginated report has been prepared and you have successfully prepared your first paginated report with tabular representation now once you develop this report it's time to publish your report to power bi service for publishing you need the power bi premium license or premium per user license in my next session i'm going to show you the publishing procedure for this paginated report with that i'm going to explain you how to install the data gateway as well for the power bi paginated report so stay tuned to my next session meantime if you have any question you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading new video related power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents teams and sharepoint every day on my channel so make sure that you hit subscribe and never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any consultancy here is the website link click on that it will be redirecting you to my website homepage go to the contact section and fill up your query over there and send it to me also if you are looking to follow me on all my social media handles click on here it will redirecting you to this page over here you can follow me on my youtube website instagram linkedin blog twitter facebook and github repository so follow me everywhere if you are interested for instagram learning here is the instagram page click on that it will redirecting you to my instagram home page here i am uploading new reels igtv and different post related power platform so make sure that you follow my instagram account the insta id is power platform guy so stay connected with me over there as well if you are interested for different power platform related audio podcast click on this link it will redirecting you to this page here you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on your favorite podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more also if you are interested for different short video related power platform here is a separate channel called digital thruvin click on that it will redirecting you to this channel subscribe that channel and show your love over there as well meantime this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.